Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to Spirits of the Helements on Steam with me, Jalanon, at Luna Nebula Gaming. So, this game is a tower defense where you can basically form the path that the enemies take. It is $11.99 USD on Steam right now. It has been on sale in the past. Hopefully it will be again for those of you who think that's a little steep. Uh, I have seen Retromation play this and have enjoyed watching him play it and uh, it made me want to get it. Now, I don't think there's too much for parents to worry about other than maybe some blood animations, but even that I don't really remember seeing too well. Uh, and there's no true age rating, so let's dive in. I will try to put my opinion on the age rating later, but you can see there's settings and everything. We can see enemy health bars and all that. As far as I can tell, if you're okay with stuff like Kingdom Rush, this is probably fine for your family. Let's see. So we can try the tutorial and things like that. We can unseal new towers. We'll do that later. So let's go here. A portal from the underworld has appeared. Place a forest spirit on a blessed tile to defend the Helament Crystal. It is interesting that it's not the underworld that's called Helament. But yes. Boost your defense by placing another forest spirit and press the start button to the right to continue. So, we can't place it just here. You have to have a tile that you have set up to take that. We kind of want these forest spirits to actually be close together. So I am thinking... Hmm, we only have three tiles right now, but if we can later on move these around, we can make them go through here, which seems like a longer path to me. So I, I do want to invest in putting this right here, I think. All right, and then we have the start button in the bottom right. And then now we can see the wave. Looks like they can run and fly, maybe? Eh, they're not flying too well at the moment. Okay. Tier 1 Fire, Tier 1 Lightning, Tier 1 Wind, here's our health, here's our money. Can I upgrade anybody yet? I can. Okay. Click on one of the Force Spirits to upgrade it. Okay, we can give it more range or more damage. Let's give it more damage. Place a Blessing on the Mark Tile using one of the buttons on the bottom right, this one. Enemies will walk around your blessings, but they must have a valid path to the base. So you can't just, you know, block them off entirely. That is impossible. Hmm. We'll do that. And that. And that. Okay. Manipulating your enemy's path is key to success. And kind of the basis of this game, really. Try blessing more tiles to create an even longer path. Ooh. They're giving me a lot of these. I like it. Hmm. So we can put one right here. Also do... We could do this. But I think I like having more stuff being able to shoot at them. Hmm. So we can do that and that. That makes that longer, in theory. But once again, I kind of want to do... Yes. Yes. This is what I want to do. Ah, glorious. Okay, so, now we can do that. I can also do this. Hmm. I think we do that. And we can, of course, I think right-click to remove these. You can do stuff to remove them, but uh, apparently we're not learning that in the tutorial yet. Never mind. I am getting ahead of myself. Um, we can upgrade some more. We can change priorities and stuff. We want first on this guy. I do want another forest spirit. Hopefully it'll let me. There we go. You... Let's give you more range, maybe. Same with you. That'll be helpful in the future. Alright. A fire helmet at tile has appeared. Enemies that walk through fire take increased damage. Try blessing tiles now to force them into walking over it. So here's the fire tile. And... There are other things we can do with this, but for now, we're just going to try to have people walk through it. So we can take one of our blessings, count them, and 
be happy for them. So, we now have this level one fire tile, and the fire lasts for six seconds on an enemy, increase their damage, and reduce their regeneration. Okay, if you ever need a reminder on what a helmet does, hover over the tile for a brief description. Fair enough. Um, let's give you runic energy. Seems like a plan to me. And now we continue. I might be getting ahead of the tutorial a bit. But for now, we're doing this. We can speed it up by clicking that bottom right again. Ah, glorious. But let's see what that fire tile's actually doing. So as you see, they get in there, burn a little bit. There it is. There it is. Ah. Uh, fire. It doesn't burn us. Spirits can be placed on blessed elements to provide them with powerful bonuses. But blessing the helmet will cost three blessings. Try blessing the new fire helmet. So, it does have a nice little three right there. So now we can put anything on there. The explosive spirit has joined the fight. Place either spirit on the blessed fire helmet to continue. Each spirit will get different buffs when placed on a helmet. Okay, so, if I place this guy here, it'll deal 100% more damage, which is nice. Whereas this guy gets a jet of fire that damages enemies and permanently melts off 10 armor, which is great for the beginning, which, you know, we have to do something over there, but that would block that off, so I'd have to remove that, etc., etc. So there's always stuff to think about. Hmm. Do I want my jet of fire? I mean, honestly, it's probably better to have the forest spear right here. But... kind of want to see the fire jet. Ah, there it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Forward, my spirits. We must protect the woods. Okay. Uh, we can get 10 more damage and more range. That seems fine. Kinetic bolts. Uh, you, same thing. Here we are. And then Root Network, grant all four spirits in range. So that's one reason why we wanted to increase range. More bonus damage against flyers, which, you know, right now it doesn't matter. But in the future, flyers are terrifying because they ignore all obstacles and go straight to the end. Projectiles now chain twice is probably better for us right now. And gaining damage and penetration. Ah, but now we have a chaos breach. So, we gain a benefit, but also a negative when this happens. Choose a boost to help you through, but be careful. Boosts are tied to modifiers that make enemies stronger too. So we can just get souls or money. And armor plating monsters gain four bonus armor this breach. Only this breach, huh? Oh, I thought it was forever. Okay, well, we have our explosive spirit that literally melts armor, so that doesn't bother me that much. Gain four blessings, so basically four more tower placements, or one element and one extra blessing. Hmm. They gain more health. That seems fine. We've been doing fine. Uh, or we can get one fire helmet on one of three randomly selected tiles, and monsters gain increased speed this breach. So let's do this one just so you can see what it's like. So as you can see... We have three tiles now that are showing as fire. So we have to choose one of these three. I want to choose this one. It allows me to create that. Ooh. And I actually didn't have to use more blessings on it, huh? Interesting. Okay, so that's one benefit of placing your blessings first, it looks like. Huh. Okay, well, Chaos Breaches contain elites, which are stronger enemies with extra health. Be prepared. All right. Uh, also, do I want your jet of fire? I do. I do. Increase explosion. Um, we can also get more radius. That just seems fine. More bonus damage. Mm -hmm. Or more attack speed. We already have our jet of fire, so honestly, I'm just going to go damage. And then we can get an elite hunter. Attacks deal greatly increased damage against elites on the explosive spirit. That seems pretty good. Since we kind of are worried about that right now. We don't have nearly enough souls slash money yet, so we need to wait patiently, like the hunter in the forest. Filled with a bunch of forest spirits and explosive spirits. You know how it is. All right, then. We're doing great, people. Okay. Yeah, their speed didn't matter. Good job on getting through the Chaos Breach. By completing the Chaos Breach, you've earned extra blessings. The Wind Element has appeared. Enemies that walk through the wind element are slowed for a short duration. Spirits can be placed on the wind element for bonuses different from the fire element. Try using your newly earned blessings to make use of the wind element. Is 
sounds like a plan. Okay, what do you give me? Let's see. Grant all spirits in range 8 bonus damage. So we could do that for sure by extending range and all that. Enemies that are stunned for two seconds the first time they are hit by the spirit. Oh, that's pretty good, too. We can't reach super far with it. And the way I am currently... Hmm. It'd probably be better to have them just walk through here, basically. If I wanted this to work well. I think what I'll do is just... Increase your range, increase your range, and now everything gets plus eight damage in here. And, of course, we can also continue to level up these helmet tiles. So the next level up of a helmet tile would grant 15% more damage, and then the last version would be more range. We'd have to get that through Chaos Breach modifiers, there's no guarantees, etc, etc. So every time you play is a little different. Alright, people. Get ready to burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. And now... Yeah, yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great. I think I still want to save up for this guy to be able to do more to elites. So let's do that. Because we've got all of our minor damage boys. But we don't have somebody super focused on just dealing with elites. Okay, now we do. And now you change color. So in the future, we can unlock these abilities to be upgrades. So, attacks now deal massive damage to elites versus gain 40 overall damage, and hitting an elite causes projectiles to explode for a much larger AoE, which seems good if you're worried about the little guys with the elites. Hmm. 40 damage and armor penetration. Projectiles now chain. Uh, I'd like chain, but I think we're going for higher damage still. Now, on this left side, we can see elite modifiers. We can see what else is going on. Ghouls have quite a bit of health and speed. No real regen or armor on anything yet. Hellions. Okay, we're on stage two of two. We still have a few more waves, it looks like. All right, then. It's go time, people. Oh, meet the Gatling Spirit. He has a considerably fast attack speed, but needs to be in combat in order to ramp up. Once reaching maximum attack speed, he will remain at max attack speed for a few seconds until entering cooldown. Then he proceeds to ramp up once again. Okay, then. Oh, we can't afford you yet. But Gatling Spirit is pretty good. There's a reason it's worth 540 while these are pretty cheap. Hmm. Okay. We're good there. Now, Gatling Spirit, remind me. What do you get? You gain plus two range, and you can now target flyers. Okay. Couldn't do that before. Hmm. I can bless that. That is more range. Which is nice. So I can't do that because that would block everything. What would you get on here? Ooh, gain more damage while at max attack speed. Seems pretty good. Uh, hmm. Here we go. Let's return you. Let's bless you. Achoo. Um, then, yeah, we can... We can do that. Ah, Fireborn. Okay, so then we can get more damage and armor penetration or stay at max attack speed for six more seconds while at max attack speed gain plus two range. So that can be nice if you're looking for range, but once again, you won't always have that range, so calculate that out. All right. As you can see, he's pretty fast. Let's, let's slow it down so you can see. Yes. Glorious. All right, but now... He had to take a little break. Uh, let's do that. Seems pretty good. Okay, yeah, now he's overheated. And then he's got to ramp up again. But once he does, he'll stay there for a longer period of time and have longer range. Okay, then. We've got some more monies. Hmm. Can't afford that. You, you, you. Hmm. Anybody else we really want to upgrade? We can gain more range here. That's probably a good idea, considering this path is in range. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, that'll also help up there. Let's go. That's right, people. 
make waves and mazes. Mostly mazes. And then, yeah, there it is. Okay, Chaos Reach starting. Hmm, we can gain six blessings and a bunch of souls. Upgrade all fire tiles to tier two. That seems pretty good for us. Place one wind element on any tile. Eh, we'll just take a commission. So all of our file, ah, fire tiles are now stage two. So while at maximum attack speed, gain 20 damage and armor penetration, which honestly, the armor penetration is still not important to us for some reason. This one gains 25 damage and increased explosion radius. The flamethrower now covers a larger area and melts off 20 more armor. Ooh, I like it. All right, uh, I probably shouldn't have started till I looked to see what else I could upgrade, but oh well. Increased attack speed. There it is. There it is. Okay. We're happy. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, melt some dudes that are trying to destroy the forest. Okay, we didn't lose any lives. We burned quite a few enemies. Killed 17 elites. And the best spear was the explosive spear, according to this, based on the damage. Intriguing. We can view the map if we wish to. We can exit the game. Yeah. All right, then. Let's continue on to one that isn't holding our hands. You can go to play. So we beat the first omen of a deadly invasion. The hordes of hell must be stopped at all costs. The assault continues, and with new enemies come some new allies. So, still a little bit of a tutorial, I guess, but that's fine. I think we get the sniper tower here. Snipers. Ah, and we get the lightning helmet. Enemies that walk through the lightning helmet will be shocked for a few seconds. Shocked, I say. Whenever a shocked enemy takes damage, another nearby enemy also takes a percentage of that damage. Just like the fire and wind elements, spears can be placed on blessed elements for various buffs. Also take note of these yellow divine blessings. These blessings are pre-placed at the beginning of each game. They can be removed to change paths, but won't give you a blessing in return. So you kind of want to work around the already placed ones. If we can, if we can. So, as you may have noticed, flyers can also appear and go just straight here. They do not care about these pre-placed blessings. However, the other guys do. Okay, we have imps first. I think they don't fly. They're just speedy boys. They're just speedy boys. Let's see, where's the first flyer? Is that stage four, maybe? Okay, well, we do want to prepare a little bit. So, there's all spirits in range. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We'll just do that. I'll put you here. Okay, and there's lightning. Nobody's going to walk through that lightning, which is unfortunate. Um, we'll start up here first. And then if I want to, we can try to kind of block off this area, make them go around more. Because let's see, one, two, three, four, five, versus one, a two, a three, a four, a five. It doesn't really matter. No. Okay. Not at the moment. Either way, it's pretty much the same. Hmm. Let's go ahead. What do you give me? Lightning strikes the explosion area after a short delay. Enemies in the center of the strike take more damage versus tax fire projectile at one additional enemy. That's probably better if we're also worried about hitting flyers with this guy. We can give him more range, kind of help out a bit. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Uh, what else? What else? We could do this, put somebody here later like the Gatling Tower. I kind of want to use this later, I think. This seems like a good spot for another Gatling Tower or something. Yeah, we could try to use this other fire element tile or put a tower there. There are options. There are options. We're going to save our last blessing. Okay. As you can see, we're getting those additional projectiles, and it is glorious. Hmm. I think we're just gonna wait. Okay. Mm. Explosive spirit. We haven't needed you yet. 
probably be nice over here. And then we could put the Gatling Tower there. Or we could put you earlier. That's another option. And one I do not hate. Especially if we get the armor destroying ability. You don't necessarily hit flyers, but I think we're fine for flyers for a moment. So I will do that. Just to kind of help us in this early part of the game. Alright, we're doing great. Look at all this AoE. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay then. Hmm. Imps and snappers. Okay. What do we want here? Gain increased maximum attack speed plus five maximum attacks per second. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's good. Can I already do that? I can. Excellent. So that's <laughs> that's future proofing, right? Just you know, you know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. If we can extend his range so that he hits these guys that are hurt by the fire, that'll be great. Mm, what can we do with you? More range, probably. Yes, because you also give everybody more cool stuff. There we go. And now you can help out with the normal guys, too. Okay. Good on you, team. Good on you. Plus, I think that also reaches... Yeah, okay, so that does help our explosive boy. Excellent. All right. Gain four blessings. Monsters gain increased health. Gain a bunch of souls. They gain five bonus health regen. Place one wind element. Monsters gain four bonus armor. So right now we don't have a great way of shredding through armor. So that would probably be most annoying. Health regen hasn't mattered because they haven't lived long enough. More blessings means we can make more use of the stuff we've got. I think I might actually go blessings over souls right now. I'm going to go ahead and pre-place that. And then... Hmm. What else do we want? That seems pretty good. What if I do this? And stays near the Gatling longer. And then they go through this wind element. That might be good. I'll pre-place that. Remind me what you do. You slow them. That seems pretty good. But of course, see if I do this and block it off, of course you're not going to walk through that. So there is that to consider. Hmm. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Alright, so other than that, we probably need more upgrades against flyers. Snapper, henchman, imp. Maybe we don't. Hmm. I'm still waiting. Because I'm pretty sure we unlocked the sniper tower, and I kind of wanted a sniper tower there, honestly. Because I don't think this guy's going to be able to reach... Let's see, you gained how many? One, two, three, four. One, two, I think. Three, four. Three, four. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to reach. So I'm... Not terribly interested in that. But we can place another one here just in case. Future-proofing. Sure. Alright. So now we see some big boys. But they ain't big enough. Let's get more damage and explosions. Let's go ahead and go faster. And then we'll worry about you. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Incoming flyer, so it is warning me. That's nice. So they have 90 health, which we should be fine against. Attack faster. Gain damage and range. I think we go with attack faster at this area. And then we can go root network with one of these guys. I think we want to do that with this one on the wind element. Warning, from now on, rounds may contain flyers. Flyers are dangerous enemies that bypass your blessings and fly straight to the base. You can preview their path by looking at the yellow arrows coming from the spawn point. Yep. Flyers are also untargetable by many towers, unless you've purchased upgrades that allow that spirit to target them. 
However, the Forest Spirit can target them by default. Make sure you're frequently keeping an eye out for incoming flyers using the enemy preview at the top left of your screen. Flyers have a unique border around their portrait, which is more yellow it looks like. Demon wings, okay? Well, 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 well. What do we want here? We can make the Galling Spirit target flyers in the future, I think, right? Hmm. Hmm. For now, I'm pretty happy with stuff. Let's just maybe get another Forest Spirit, just in case. More range or more damage? More damage. Sure. All right, then. Here we go. And we're doing fine. It's the, just this first spirit. Oh, no, we needed the second one. Okay. Well, we didn't need it, but it, it got used. That wasn't so bad, right? Don't get overconfident, though. There could be faster and tougher flyers down the line. This is the sniper spirit. She has a long range and shoots out multiple projectiles in a cone shape. She can even pierce through a few enemies, but attacks fairly slowly. In addition, she has the ability to target flyers, and even gains bonus damage when doing so. Yay. Okay, so yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Ah, uh, more projectiles. Glorious. Okay, and then I kind of want to place you up here. Enemies of hit are struck by lightning, so we'll do that. And that should be nice for now. And now you have a railgun. Yay. Didn't expect a dragon to use a railgun, but you know what? I don't see why not. That just seems epic. Hmm. I think if we chain twice, we actually use three projectiles. That might be worth waiting for. What about you? More bonus damage and armor penetration. Anything with armor yet? Not really. Let's go with extended reach for now still. So as they get here, his reach will extend. Okay, I like that idea. Tip, you can tell spirits to prioritize either ground or air units by selecting them and using the targeting panel on the bottom left. So, we can go here, air ground. Let's go for air first. We can see the entire upgrade tree if we ever lose track. We can see, okay, railgun. We can go lined up, sharpshooter's perception, applied force, fairy energy, stopping power, and stuff like that. Return to sender. Ooh, pierce through five more enemies. And projectiles return to the sniper spirit. So I think it's like a bump, bump, like a bouncing attack, basically. And then these are the end game upgrades that we don't have unlocked. But will someday be really cool. Someday. We probably want more range on you. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, isn't there an upgrade that gives you infinite range? Or is that one of the... It's probably the wind tile. Yeah, it's the wind element, I think. Yep. Okay. Lightning. Fire. So, lightning. Where... Ah, you were over here. Wind, though. So we can put one of these guys over here. And definitely should. Because that's just infinite range now. While there are no enemies within, two tiles of the Sniper Spirit gain more damage. Which, only if they get close to the Gatling Spirit will that really matter. Hmm. can also put some dudes over here. Intriguing point, intriguing point. I kind of like this setup still. So let's do this. Save up some moolah. So as you can see, this guy all the way over here is targeting these guys. And it's glorious. Uh, yeah, let's go for air first. That still seems like a good plan. I mean, it's already doing that. I think they do try to target the first creature closest to Steph. Which makes sense. Hmm. What do you get from fire again? More projectiles? Jet of fire. Hmm. That does reach. You know what? I think we might do that. We can do that. Okay. Now, I do want to get more stuff. We don't need to worry about range on this boy. Let's get more projectile piercing. And then we can do more damage and more piercing again, or increased attack speed with infinite range. It might be better to just get increased attack speed. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But I think more attack speed might make the most sense. All right, then. Forward, my warriors, by remaining still. Because clearly that makes perfect sense. 
And as you can see, we are getting work done here as well. Hmm. Do I want more range on you? Or more pierce? Let's try to pierce because of our lightning ability. If we get more people hit by lightning, maybe that combos. Cool. Cool. That's my theory. Increased attack speed or more pierce. Eh, more damage and piercing. Okay, and then we can choose one of these. Projectiles now penetrate through all armor. That seems cool. Uh, pierce through more enemies. Now converted into massive attack speed. What is your piercing value right now? I cannot tell. <laughs> Open the upgrade tree. Okay, so we took piercing, piercing. So... Hmm. Spray and pray does not seem bad. Okay, we do not have much money, though. No souls. But so far, so good. We can kind of see that lightning effect. Ah, this guy's actually getting in on it. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, it doesn't look like the piercing ability is super charging up anything. Uh, we do probably want root network. Hmm. Bonus damage and armor penetration. Okay. Upgrade all lightning tiles to tier 2. Seems pretty good. Spawn 10 bloated zombies. Heals nearby enemies on death. Gain a bunch of souls and blessings. Wow. That's pretty big. Only 25% increased health. Which, I mean, that's pretty big on elites, but still. Hmm. And then we can choose a element of any type we want. So that'd be good for infinite range. Hmm. I think I want to upgrade all lightning tiles to tier 2 for now. We've only got two of them. Or, no, I'm wrong. We have three. So that seems pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. And now we could get chaining twice. Let's double check, though. Hmm. We get so many projectiles chaining already that I actually think more damage in armor penetration might make sense. We don't really need more damage at the moment. Uh, hmm. Let's go for this. Hope that makes sense. You guys now gain increased attack speed. Projectiles pierce through five additional enemies. Oh my goodness. So, I think spray and pray on this guy would be insane now. So I think that's what we're going to try to aim for next. All right. So far, so good. We got some big boy flyers. Well, we're handling it just fine. Yep. Okay. Thanks to this guy also helping out, I think. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I think we want to increase attack speed as our next one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, because those zombies are dying and then healing everything, so that's also not great. That might become a problem sooner rather than later. Uh, we'll get that right now. Surviving this wave is, you know, pretty important to me. Pretty important to me. Uh, still not enough for increased attack speed. Fair enough. Okay. So far, so good. Increase the attack speed, I think, on you. We'll just do that. Alright. Armored enemies coming up. Enemies with armor block a flat amount of damage equal to their armor value. Buy armor penetration upgrades to counter enemies with armor. Remember to always be checking the enemy preview to see how much armor an enemy has. Which makes sense. Which is one reason I was debating the whole jet of flame thing. Hmm. So we might try to turn this into a fire element in the future. If we can. That has 12 armor. So right now we have so much damage, though. I'm not terribly worried about it. Which is probably dumb. Probably dumb. Uh, get more attack speed for me. Thank you. Hmm. And then I think we just go for damage. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Other than that, any other weird stuff we want to do? Like, uh, if I... Hmm. I was trying to see if maybe we could force them to go up here a little bit more, but nope. Not unless I do something like ban, ban. Is that worth it? Well, we can always return it. 
So let's see. Bam. That does not work as intended. Okay. That does give us one more tile to beat them up with. <laughs> so, it's probably worth it since we're not really doing anything else with those tiles at the moment. Hmm. Anything else we want to do here? Right, I was planning to do something like this in the future. So we can do that. We have all these forest spirits over here, so if we could get them... If we can get them to go down and then back through, that's probably what we want to do. So we can do something like that. And that. Okay. Now, we have no really good amounts of money left, so let's continue. All right. Faster, I say. Faster, my minions. Slash, not minions. Enemies? Yeah, yeah, that's right. My enemies, you should move faster. My towers, you're doing fun. You're doing great. Keep doing what you do. Uh, 3150 is what we're looking for. Oh, very close. The curse spirit applies a curse to enemies that slows them. Many of his upgrades also apply various debuffs to cursed enemies. So now we have this guy. So this seems like a good place. We kind of want to curse early. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I could try to put him here as well, but we want early. Minus health regen, minus armor. What do we have next? Regen and armor. Let's go for health regen at the moment. We can get more attack speed or curses last longer. Let's go for last longer since we're going for health regen on this one. Okay. And then I need to return a blessing if I want to do stuff. But because I'm mazing a lot, I don't actually want to do that. Okay, anybody else have like a cheapo thing? I do want root network over here, surely. So let's maybe save up for that. 1575. There it is. More damage to flyers. Excellent. So far, so good. Some of these guys are just kind of hanging out over there. Our Gatling spirits are kind of just like, eh, we're, we're just getting paid to sit here. Okay, that's a ton of armor. Careful, the first enemy with an ability is coming up. Power. Hover over the Bulwark's portrait to see what they do. Guardian Aura absorbs all damage taken from enemies in his aura. So, yeah, that's, that's not great for us. Hmm. Like my, my Chris boy... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. And then more attack speed, I think. Uh, I don't have any more blessings yet. Pretty happy with my maze as is. Let's see, if I go here, that doesn't quite reach. This is actually a good place for it. Let's get rid of armor here, because the Gatling Spirit is our damage dealer. So that should be fine. And then we don't care about it lasting long, because if the Gatling Spirits can't take it, then we're probably doomed. Unless our snipers can pick it up. So as you can see, this guy is literally soaking damage for everybody else right now. Which is why we wanted to take his armor down. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Alright. And uh, they're doing it again. I probably need to have this guy focus on elites. Strongest. So we'll do that in the future. Okay. For now... Hunter. There we go. We will try that. So far, so good. We're on stage 3 of 4. Everything is fine. Undead mage. Prepare to die again. Yep. Wow. Seems like we're very well set up to KO the undead mages. I like it. Stopping power. Right, right. Yeah, so now you've turned kind of a reddish color. Ooh. Pretty. Okay. I think we're pretty happy we picked up that power. You, 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 you. Hmm. Yeah, I think we went spray and pray on you still. Uh, do we want anything new on Explosive Boy? Probably not. 
you guys have a lot of stuff going on. Bane is pretty good. Curse is now slow enemies, pretty good. Cursed enemies are worth more souls. I mean, that's clearly good. If you can get that early. If you can't, it probably won't pay for itself. Right now we're in stage three of four, so I doubt it would pay for itself. Okay, you. Get more attack speed. There it is. Oh, look at this. It's a laser. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Let's slow it down again. There you go. Attacking elites. I probably, yeah, I probably don't need to force you to attack any specific thing. Curse is now slow enemies. Seems pretty great. So you know, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do that. That's just good. You can see their little purple orb thing shining from them now. Gain four blessings. Upgrade all lightning tiles to tier three. What do you get? Projectiles pierce through five additional enemies. Now struck by lightning three times. That seems pretty good. Hmm. Gain more damage. Okay. And hit five enemies. Oh, that just seems really good. Call down a lightning strike that shocks all enemies within two tiles. Also really good. Uh, monsters gain 10 bonus armor in this breach and increase speed. We have counters to both of those. We can place more lightning elements. That's not bad. And it would be tier 2. They okay, gain more health and health regen. That's not great. A permanent elite ability if we gain 3,000 souls. Briefly gain massive movement speed. Ooh. I think I'm more worried about this, actually. So let's take that. Ah, glorious. Okay. And now we have more blessings. Hmm. There was something I wanted to do now, wasn't there? We can do that. If I do this, they have to go all the way through our currently... Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, we have 3,700 souls. I can't get Spray and Pray. I can't get your upgrades yet. Uh, I probably need... Probably want more damage, actually, on this guy, since we are, we're having a few issues. Mm. You... Maybe I should have you priority target strongest as well. I think first things first, I get another cursor over here. Because that should extend down to here. Uh, everybody has armor, right? Eh, a decent amount. So let's go with armor and lasting longer. So that hopefully it'll last long enough to get over here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, hmm. We can get more damage over here. Increase. Gain four maximum attacks per second. That just seems good for while we're on this tier three tower. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think we're happy. Let's see what happens. Damage happens. And it happens fast. And it's good. Okay, the additional projectiles don't seem to matter while this thing's around. Don't know if it stacks on them or not. That would be interesting. Hmm. Like, it might be doing more damage to each guardian that had that ability. The bulwark. Because it was absorbing it for more creatures, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So far, I am glad I went for damage. That seems to have been important. Okay, you... Still can't do stuff. You. Hmm. I think we're going to get Flurry on you as well. Okay. Not have enough for that thing to upgrade yet. Still happy over here. Can't do anything else with you. Hmm. What about you? I think we'll do that. It's probably too late to matter, but we'll just do it. Okay. So far, so good. Nothing has made it past our Gatling Gunners yet. Okay. Baron, a lot of health regen. 
will heal once a second. However, burning enemies with a fire helmet reduces their regeneration. Yeah, by half. So that's pretty good. So this is our kill corridor. We're gonna want stuff. Shattering projectiles. Gain more damage. Projectiles shattered on hit. Damaging every enemy behind their target. They could chain, but deal less damage. Ooh, Giant Slayer, though. That seems really good. Hmm. And this extends maximum attack speed's duration. Hmm. Whenever a nearby enemy dies. So I think we do take Shattering Projectiles on you. Okay. I know we haven't gotten the Railgun Spray and Prey yet. <sighs> One day. One day we might. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this maze strategy. It would be nice if we could, you know, get people to run through both fire helmets or whatever, but probably not going to happen. Probably not. Bane. Curses stored, damage taken. That's really good. Uh, we will probably not make it to Bane. But you know. Batman approves. Batman hates Bane. Okay. Fire. Good. Is it working fast enough? I think so, because of our shattering projectiles killing stuff behind. Yeah, I think that combo is working as I wanted it to. Cool. Okay. Then I think we want to wait. We could try to get Bane on you. That doesn't seem half bad. It would be nice closer to the front, though. Hmm. Oh, well. So far, so good. Maybe we'll make enough money that we can actually get our sniper upgraded. We do have Harvest active down here, I think, right? On you? Okay. Well, spray and pray. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I was right. The Pierce value is insane. Because of this lightning element, I believe. Oh, man. Just melt them. Melt them, my sniper. You've become the Gatling cannon we never knew we needed. Ah, oh, glorious. Okay. So... Hmm. What do we do now? What do we do now, team? Huh. You guys are done. I think I want a curse for the flyers only. Just in case. Uh, you're a flyer, right? Yes. You have armor. Now you don't. Hmm. And then... I can't upgrade you any further. You, actually having more range is probably great. More damage in piercing or attack speed. You already have two additional projectiles, so you know what? More damage on each one. Seems pretty good. And then, return to cinder would be good if this ever targeted ground units. It's not going to. So, I think we want stopping power. Oh, the whole armor thing doesn't matter when we get stopping power. So, let's get 3150 and show them the meaning of an elephant gun, I suppose. Oh. Yeah, now I can actually hit and help. So that was probably the worst investment we've done at the beginning. And our Gatling guns are doing okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you. We can slow enemies further when they reach here. That seems really good for our Gatling guns to open up on them. And it's so good, in fact. I think I kind of want another cursor. Hmm. This is a flyer round, though, so we're just gonna... Just gonna see how it goes. So far, it's going great. Oh, man. Now, you didn't upgrade your range, so I think we just make you do more damage if we care right now we do not care we are clearly mopping up the flyers which would be difficult to do in the air mopping in the air seems difficult uh giant slayer here seems really good so maybe we save up for that because right now we're fine on the flyers let's try to make sure we can ko elites we'll get 
like that. Now, I think we also put one of you up here. Five damage and armor pin, sure. That seems useful. More damage on you. Okay. Alright, upgrade all wind and fire tiles to tier 2. That seems really good. Permanent elite ability on death heal all nearby enemies. Monsters gain increased speed this breach. Blast emergence. Hmm. Two helmets of any type. Elites permanently gain increased speed. I don't like that. Uh, uh. Okay, well, I think we upgrade all of our really good stuff. Like, we have infinite range. And we can now deal more damage with our sniper. So that's good. We could... Hmm. We could place another sniper here. Get rid of this. So that they go through here. Nothing has survived long enough to make it through this anyway. You know what? Return to me! Alright. Return. Oh wait. Apparently that was not what we wanted to do. There we go. Uh, so we can do this. We should definitely do... something here. Do I want to make you go closer? Or like that? We can place another, like, Gatling cannon here. What's your range? You can only hit that close? No, I think we do this then. And then we can put a Gatling tile or an explosive spear here. Maybe explosive. Do that. Gain another Schneider with infinite range. More piercing. Hmm, attack speed or damage? What do we need most? Damage, probably? Attack speed, maybe? Hmm, let's gain attack speed. Yeah, because we get more damage while stuff isn't close to us anyway. Which it probably never will be, based on how I am now amazing. So, yeah. And then we probably won't return to Cinder, since you have infinite range. And you're probably going to target... Let's, let's target strongest with you. You're currently targeting first air. I think we're happy with all of that. No, I think we want you... Hmm. Well, I could do this. I think we definitely want to do something like... This. Yeah, yeah, okay. That seems interesting. Okay. Hmm. Anything else we want to do here? We've got our Cursed Spirit over here. Our Gatling Gunner over here could probably use some more work. Okay. But I think what I want most is Return to Cinder right now. Because right now we're melting things. Still, which is good. Return to Cinder, we should probably get soon. Or return to Cinders in the flames. Yep, so far so good. Everybody's doing great. We haven't even needed this giant Slayer Galling gun guy. Uh, I do want another one though. Give me another one. Another! Okay, and then we need you to. Oh, never mind. We're good. We get the Hallowed Runes. Cool. Chapter 2, Cyclone Spirit. Ooh, new friend. Okay. Well, dear viewer, I think you get the idea of what Spirits of the Helmets is like. If you enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe for more gaming videos, comment below on what you think of this tower defense, because the amazing thing really hasn't been seen too often since uh, kind of the earliest days of tower defense. Hmm. What do we want to do? We see the four spirits a lot. We can unseal nature's wrath, so we could get wild growth or blind rage. This can no longer target elites if we do that. Hmm. You know, if we have vacant blessings near it, you do a bunch of more damage, which seems pretty cool. Root network we probably will use with you a lot. So let's unseal that. And then we can go back. Uh, I'm liking the Gatling Spirit. We just got the Cyclone Spirit, which is an AoE hex user. Hmm. We like the Sniper Spirit. We like the Cursed Spirit. What else do you do? 
Bane. You can do Blight. Misery. Ooh. Binding Grasp. Curse two extra enemies per attack. Seems pretty good. Curse is now applied to elites with their slow. Hmm. We can get more money. Oh, and reduce the buzzing cost of all elements within two tiles by one. I wonder if that's retroactive or not. Hmm. Interesting. If it's not, that seems kind of difficult to do. Uh, Giant Slayer. Hmm. That seems kind of important to me. Yeah, let's let's get you. Let's get you. Okay. So now we've unsealed some folks, and we'll check that out next time. I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.